Es macht das Video auf. That be my bed. Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. My name is Paige. Um, hi. I can't believe I'm sitting down to do this. I tell a lie, I've recorded this once already and it went horribly wrong. So, second time lucky. That looked a bit like a salute, probably shouldn't do that. As I said, this is my first YouTube video. I'm really, really excited. I've been doing Instagram for a bit and I've really enjoyed it and I thought what better way to progress than to do YouTube. So here I am. Sorry if the lighting is dodgy, I haven't got a proper camera, I'm filming on my phone, I've got my fairy lights and my window open and a ring light that's technically my mirror there and you're currently balancing on a makeshift shampoo container box thing so this video might not be the best quality and it might be a bit on and off of the lights but please bear with me and hopefully it'll get better soon and I thought a haul would just be a really nice way for you to see my style and the sort of things I like so yeah let's get into it so the first place I went was Primark and the first thing that I got was actually a sale item and it's this little yellow t-shirt which is currently the wrong way around although I don't think it really makes much difference and it's got like these little strap sleeves with kind of keyhole do you call that keyhole detailing and it's stripy and it's yellow and it's got those cold shoulder cutouts and it's sort of a thick vest top because I was buying stuff for sort of winter autumn and it's just really cute i really liked it i don't tend to wear yellow a lot so i thought i'd get this and this i believe was two pound in the sale which is a bargain so i'm very happy okay so the next thing i got i am obsessed with i've been looking for i don't know how well i'm going to show this because it's quite big i've been looking for a denim jacket for the longest time and i wanted like a mid-washed distressed denim jacket and I found this and it's more of a wintry one. It's so long and it's got like this distressed detailing kind of all here and the same on the back, which I don't know if I can show you, but on the back and it's so nice. I just loved it. It's really oversized. I actually got it a size bigger because I didn't have my usual size, but it kind of looks quite cool and I thought paired with some jeans and a jumper and some Timberlands, this would look really, really nice. Plus it's long and being in a wheelchair, I find I can't wear stuff that sits directly on my stomach because it just makes it look bigger. So I either have to wear like longer things or kind of cropped things. And this is perfect. It's like a long um, denim jacket, which makes it sound horrible, but it's so comfy. I love it so much. And this was 25 pounds which is a lot for something in Primark, but I think if you were to get the equivalent in somewhere like Topshop, you'd be looking at like 60, 70 pounds. So if you look at it like that, then this was a justified bargain. I actually went into Primark originally for pajamas. I love Primark pajamas. These are kind of their basic six pound ones and they're really good. I've got another pair and I love them. And these are just these khaki green t-shirt and kind of like spotty bottoms in like a golden khaki green. And yeah, I really like these. They're so comfy. Like they're quite a thin cotton, but they're really good for like mid-season because they're long legged. Um, and yeah, I can get quite warm still in bed, so I find these perfect. And for six pounds, I just thought, yes, very happy. So then, next thing I got, and I'm realising now, I really like grey stripes. <laughs> um, you'll see it, you'll see why in a minute. I got this grey stripe, and um, you'll see the stripes that are at the bottom. It's got little white and grey stripes at the bottom. This grey stripe cardigan. It's like, gra are they called granny cardigans? Is that still what they're called? I don't know. It's in this really stretchy wool material. It's really soft really stretchy, really comfortable. Again, it's slightly longer, so it doesn't sit where I don't want it to. And yeah, I just, I know that I'm gonna live in this. I live in cardigans and dresses and tights in the winter. So this was 13 pounds. Oh my God, I saw this Disney t-shirt. It's so pretty. 
I didn't originally go in for this one. I went in for another one that I saw in a vlog from someone else. Then I saw this one and I was just like, yes. It's got three Mickeys on it um, and it says Mickey Mouse and one Mickey's kind of like, I don't know, excitedly running. One's just like, hi. I don't know if that's what Mickey does, but oh, what does he do? I don't know. One's like this <laughs> um, and the middle one, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure what the middle one's doing. Just kind of giving it a bit of sass. But yeah, it's just this plain grey t-shirt with three Mickeys on. And I just, I love it. I love everything. I don't know why I keep saying I love it. I love everything. Of course I do, because I bought it. And this was £8. And so then again in the sale, I got this t-shirt. This three-quarter length t-shirt. It's stripey, of course, and it's kind of, yeah, three quarter length, kind of boxed, baggy t-shirt. It's got this cute tie at the front, which is adjustable, but I've just tied it to how I like it. I usually, like I said, don't like tie fronts because I tend to sit kind of on my stomach area, but because this is baggy, I don't know, it just sits nice, and it's, it's a really nice just everyday top, you can put like a cardigan with it, make it a bit warmer, or like if it's, make it a bit warmer? Yeah, make yourself a bit warmer, or if it's warmer outside, wear it on its own, tuck it into a skirt, just, it's cute, and it was two pounds, and I'm making it look freaking enormous. Um, but yes, I love it. So I got that final bit I got from Primark clothing anyway. Right, so. I have got into a bit of a thing about going into the men's section in Primark. I saw it in Soph Does Nails. I nearly forgot her name. I'm sorry, Sophie. And she basically bought a men's t-shirt from Primark and wore it as a dress. And I was like, that is a good idea. And then when I was in there, I came across this. Again, it looks huge. I do buy stuff oversized. I mean, I'm not the smallest of girls, but I do buy stuff oversized. Um, this kind of men's jumper thing. Again, stripy and grey. And yeah, I thought about it as a jumper dress. It's got like long sleeves and stripy white and grey. I think, I'm not sure if this is like a dark grey or a navy. I can't work it out. I think it's like a dark grey and then a white and then a lighter grey. It's a really nice jumper dress. I Like I said, I live in dresses in the winter and this would be, yes, this would be good. And this was £12. Um, so, again, a bit more expensive, but I think you would pay a lot more for a woman's jumper dress. I recommend you go look in the men's section of Primark because they have, if you haven't tried the jogging bottoms, they are everything, they're everything, just do it. So after my kind of clothing haul, um, I've got a few beauty and home bits. I can't really try them out, but I can tell you what they are, and if you want to see me try them out, I can either put photos on my Instagram, which I'll link below, I'll link all my social media below, um, or I can do a video kind of showing them in better detail, but right now we'll just show you what I got. I've been looking for primer, and everyone has gone to me, oh my god, well, I say everyone had gone to me, I saw on YouTube that what was really popular was the Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shave Balm as a primer because it's quite sticky, so it holds your makeup on really well. I was sold by it, I was like, yeah, why not, let's do this. So I decided to get some. I have tried this out already. The beauty stuff I have tried because I couldn't wait. Um, and it smells, it smells good. It smells like man. I like men's smell. So this little bottle and it's 100 ml and it was 5.89. So for 5.89 for 100 ml of Primark, you're laughing really. Like, let's be honest, you are laughing. And it's kept my makeup on really well so far. So I'm really pleased with that. Then, other makeup wise, I went into Debenhams because I saw that they had a Kat Von D counter and I've been looking for Kat Von D everywhere. I wanted to get matched to her foundation and I did and I'm trying it at the moment and I really like it but I haven't got a proper bottle so I didn't think I'd show you. But I did pick up the Locket Brightening Powder in the shade Petal. I got Petal because the woman said basically where I'm not too dark toned is probably the best one for me. Um, if you've got slightly dark one eyes, then she said go for peach. Or if you just want it like a little bit and a little bit brightening, then go for translucent. 
So I went for Petal and this was £19 I believe. Some of this stuff I'm not too sure about but I'll put the prices in the description box below so if you want to check it out you can. Then again on the Kat Von D hype, something I didn't plan on buying but oh my goodness it is so pretty, uh, is the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I love liquid lipsticks, I'm obsessed and, and the woman put this on me and I was just like mm-hmm. It, it's nice. It's like this nudie mauve, mauve, mauve color, and it's so nice. So this is in the shade Ludwig, and it's a mauvey brown. Um, again, I can put a picture up on Instagram. I might do a lip swatch, put it on there. Um, but this is so nice, and this was seventeen pounds, which is a lot for a liquid lipstick. But I worked out that it has more product in it than my usual brand, so it kind of works out better. You're getting more for what you're paying. So yeah. Love this. I got a mascara from L'Oreal. I love the Miss Baby Roll mascara. I love the Miss Baby Roll mascara. Um, and I was planning to get another one of those. I... And the ice cream man comes around. Cool. Cheers. Cheers, ice cream man. And YouTubers talk about this and say it was super good. So to see that it came to the UK was exciting. Um, so I thought I'd pick it up. I think it retails for $12.99, but I got it for $9.99 in the boot sale. Or boots offer so I tried it once I do like it I don't like it as much as this Miss Baby Roll because I don't find it as volumizing but it's still really good if you're looking for lengthening then you'll really like this it's super lengthening finally I got some little homey bits and I've just completely rubbed off the message that I wrote on the board to show you I got some home bits from Sass and Bell and I got this little whiteboard which I did write smile daily on to show you but um I just rubbed it off on my finger because I'm a bit disabled. Um, so it's this little chalkboard. I thought it would be really cool for jotting down things I need to remember. It's just a little hanging noteboard. It's got a pink trim. It's really cute. Um, and this was £2.50. Um, this was in the sale and they had loads and loads of different colours. And they've got it online. Um, so there should be some left. But yeah, I just hang it by my desk and it reminds me of stuff. And then I got this little like speech mark your speech mark speech bubble um tray thing which i use to put like little bits and bobs in at the moment i currently have my uh lip scrub lip balm some earrings that i like my watch goes in there and it's super cute and it just holds everything together and it says oh you pretty thing which i thought was really cute and it's got the pink to match the um rim of the whiteboard which yeah it all goes so that makes me happy in some way. I think this was £6, but I will double check. And finally, I got the cutest coasters I think I've ever seen. And they're little button coasters. Look at them. They're like pastel button coasters. They're amazing. I love them. They do come with four. I've only got three here because the fourth one's actually up there behind me and I can't get it down. But yeah, they come in a pack of four. And you've got like a light blue, a baby pink, which you can just see, but I don't want to drop it. And then this mint green, and then you've got a yellow, which is up there. They're basically just coasters that look like buttons, but I liked that. And they were pastel, so that made me really happy. And these were seven fifty in the sale, down from ten pounds. So you can probably still get some some of these, and I love them. They're really nice. And that is my video done. I can't believe it i can't believe it's done thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope i hope it made sense i hope i didn't speak too fast i hope the lighting was okay i'm sorry if any of it wasn't um drop me a like if you did like this just so i know that i'm doing the right thing maybe if you like hauls let me know because i could do a few more i spend a lot of money so i'm sure there'll be more to do if you want to stick around then subscribe because i will be posting videos every monday and wednesday I've got another one hopefully coming up on Wednesday explaining a bit more about this channel and a bit more about me and all of that. So if you want to see that, click subscribe and come see me again because that'd be awesome. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, I'll link it down below. I have Instagram, a Snapchat, Twitter. I'll link it all below. Um, and just thank you so much. Um, I'm hoping you enjoyed this. I've been me, so please always be you. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye. Thank you.